Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at two new features which were introduced in the Washington release of service now called Exit and Skip in Flow Designer. I have created a separate video of, of all the features which were released in Flow Designer in Washington release in a separate video. The link is in the top right corner and in the description as well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardeep Singh and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. In this video we will be going through the introduction of exit and skip features and then we will see a demo in flow designer how can we use them first of all the introduction the skip so the skip actually skips the current iteration of the flow logic loop when the condition of an if logic are met so if we have written a condition in the for loop or do until the conditions are met loop then you can skip that particular iteration of the loop so if you notice i have highlighted the loop here so this skip can be only used in these two kinds of loop the for each loop and do until loop i have explained the difference between these two loops in a separate video the link is on the top right corner and in the description as well next is exit loop so if you want to completely exit from a loop on a certain condition then you can use the exit loop action In the demo we would see about this use case where we will be running a for each loop through the incident table for active incidents so we will be filtering out the active incidents and it should run only for the 1000 records so if the counter is more than 1000 we will completely exit from the loop so if you see on the first step i'm running the loop and we will be exiting the loop if the counter is more than 1000 records so if there are more than 1000 active records in the incident table then we will exit the loop next condition is and it should update the assignment group of the incidents not having category as inquiry help to network so we will be skipping the incidents which have the category as inquiry or help so we will skip those and then after skipping we will be updating the assignment group of all the other incidents which do not have category as inquiry or help So here we will be using the skip functionality or the skip action of the loop. Let's quickly jump into service now and see how can we do that. I will click on new and I will click on flow to create a new flow and I can name the flow as maybe exit and skip demo and FD so flow designer and I will click on build flow to create a new flow from the scratch. I can go ahead and add any trigger which I want. I will choose daily here and I will click on done here. So I will have to run this flow designer ad hoc anyways to test this. In the first step I will be looking up the records which are active in service now. So I will be choosing look up records and then I will select the table as incident and I will change these maximum records to 2000 for our testing purpose. and i will choose the condition as active as true and i will click on done after this i will be running a for each loop for that i will select flow logic and then select for each and then drag and drop these incident records here and i will click on done and now i have to check the counter what are the number of incident records which were fetched in this lookup records activity or action So for that I will choose flow logic and I will select if and I can give the label as check the count of incident records. So here we are checking the count of the records which were returned. So for that there is a counter which is already available in the lookup record called count. I will drag and drop this and I will select here if it is greater than 1000 then we have to completely exit the loop. For that I will select flow logic and i will search for exit loop before this we can write a log as well just to know we had exit this loop so for that i will just go ahead and create an action and maybe i can say log and i will just simply log hardit and exiting the loop i will click on done so after this log it will exit this loop if the counter is greater than 1000 in the next condition i will choose else if and in else if we will be checking the category so i will check the category is inquiry or help for that i will go to the for each loop here expand this record 
and I will search for the category column and I will drag and drop that here and I will check if it is inquiry or help then I have to skip this iteration for that I will again choose flow logic I will search for skip iteration and I will click on done here also we can add a log if we want I'll just go ahead and do that quickly I will just type log and again I will give a similar message and I can say Hardit skipping iteration so we know we had skipped this iteration I will click on done and finally after if and else if we will update the record or update the assignment group of all the other records which do not have the category as enquiry or help for that I will choose action I will search for update record and and I will select the incident record in the for each loop and here I will select the field and I will update it as assignment group is network so it will update the assignment group of that particular incident to network and I will click on done after this I will activate this flow designer as soon as it is saved I will go ahead and activate the reporting on this flow designer as well so for that I will choose flow reporting settings here and I will click on full and I will update this now let's go ahead and test this flow I will click on test and I will click on run test now it is running this flow designer and it will be updating the incidents which do not have category as inquiry or help now it has ran that I will go into these execution details and we had switched on the reporting so we would be able to see everything so it has shown an error here and if we go and look at this error we would see I think some business rule is aborting this so there is a business rule called abort changes to the group so I might have to deactivate this for some time so I will go to business rules and deactivate this which is stopping me to update the assignment groups in the incident table so I will go here about and I will try to find this and here you can see there is a business rule written on the incident table I will just make it temporarily as false just to test my flow designer but these are out of the box business rules so please don't go ahead and do that in your client instances you can do it in your personal instances I will go ahead and test this again I will close this and run test again and let's see what happens this time so it has ran the flow and we will open the execution details and we haven't got that error anymore and you would see it has completed this for each loop and it did not go to this exit loop because the counter was 981 here if you see and then it had skipped few records and then it would have updated few records as well we will have to see which one it it did and it did not so we have to go to the incident table and check that so I will go to the incident table and open the list of these incidents and here I have updated these through the updated time and you would see there are few incidents which have been changed to the assignment group as network and if you see the updated time you would see these were updated one minute ago so the incidents which did not had inquiry or help as the category their assignment group has been updated to the network but if we try to bring all the incidents which have inquiry or help you would see the assignment group still is service desk so this is how you can use exit and skip functionality in flow designer in service now I hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new in flow designers and in service now let me know in comments if you have any feedback or any questions thanks for watching the video till the end and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button